everyone. So today I want to try brown turkey for you all. And uh, I want to compare brown turkey to some varieties that I really like. And uh, tell you just how bad brown turkey is of a fake. <laughs> so this is my brown turkey tree that I don't have by choice. This was given, to, or I bought this as cuttings from Harvey at Figaholics under the name Morocco Altar 23. But uh, it's shaping up to be very much so a brown turkey. And here's one that I could pick. I know the lighting isn't the, great, the greatest right now. But uh, they all look very, very similar. The leaf pattern matches brown turkey quite well. Um, and I did pick one for you guys that I want to show you. Just got to take a little bit of a walk to get to the other side of the yard. You can see the rest of my fig trees here. We just picked about six varieties this morning. And uh, I'm in fig heaven. Except maybe for the notorious brown turkey that people love so much. We talked about in my live stream, my 10,000 subscriber live stream, about this fig and uh, just how bad it is. Uh, but then again, if you guys love brown turkey, right? You love black jack, you love black Spanish, you love, uh, what well, I mean, there's so many names for brown turkey guys out there that. Um, if you like it, you know, I can't tell you otherwise, right? I can only tell you that there's better better figs out there. You can see here's the other half. Conjoined. Makes a very large melon flavored fig that really doesn't have much flavor to it. Um, here we have the Traces Place and we have Ronde de Bordeaux. These are two really highly sought after, very early productive, rain resistant varieties. Whereas brown turkey isn't that early. Um, it also gets really uh, hit hard by the rain. It has an open eye. It splits. It has a huge cavity in the middle. These are all very undesirable characteristics of figs. Yet the large majority of the country uh, and commercially they grow brown turkey. So uh, let's eat this brown turkey here and show you guys what it tastes like and then we can eat the the better ones. <laughs> All right. Not bad. It's actually it's still a fig, right? I love figs. It's not horrible. It's certainly a little bit underripe, but I don't mind it. You know, the problem with this this here, though, is that it's never really going to get to further past this point. Um, it could taste quite good past this point, but the problem is you, it's just too much rain here. Uh, it doesn't hold up to the rain very well. It splits very easily. You know, it can spoil very easily because if the rain gets inside the fig with an open eye, it's not good. But otherwise, I like it as it is. It's just, it tastes like a melon. It's more bland, right? It's melon with some nice honey to it. You know, I don't know. It's a fig. It's nice. Here is uh, De Trace's Place. This one tastes a bit like wine. <laughs> this is like the comparison between, you know, a really old bottle of wine to a really young bottle of wine. Uh, it really does have an interesting berry flavor, which you can kind of tell has like a bit of a wine, like resinous flavor to it. Uh, it also has the honey that we were just talking about where the fig produces its own nectar that I like to call honey. Um, and a lot of times it's found throughout the fig. Sometimes it's found at the eye of the fig. Really good fig. Still has the melon flavor to it because I picked it a bit underripe, but I like that fig a bit underripe. And then we have here Ron de Bordeaux. The 
This one's sweeter. A different, more... They call this Ronde de Bordeaux because it was found in the Bordeaux area of France, I believe. And a lot of people actually compare this berry flavor that it has to wine, believe it or not. So I'm not just making this up. You know, this isn't just my opinion. This is the opinion of many people. Uh, it's an interesting berry flavor, right? So with these figs, and especially with the brown turkey, you know, it's quite bland. It just tastes like melon plus honey, whereas the Ronde de Bordeaux and the Detraces Place, they have berry flavors, almost like strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, some weird berry flavor that you've never eaten. And you can only really experience that in a fig. It's quite strange. So that adds another level of complexity to it, right? Plus they have the honey from the sweetness. Some varieties that I have uh, are actually, they range in really wide varieties of berries. Uh, some of them are more strictly honey, right? They have a ton of honey, kind of like my LSU Champagne here. Puts out a fig that is very, very uh, filled with honey, dripping from the eye. It's very sweet. Same thing with my Mary Lane Seedless, which is right next to it. And then you have figs, you know, going even further away from that. We have figs that maybe be of a, of a light berry taste. We have things that taste like sugar, like there's crystallized sugar in the fig. So I have a number of those, like my Suwadi, as an example, has a very light berry flavor to it and actually has more of a crystallized sugar in the fig giving it sweetness, especially when you let these things dry. The fructose in the in the fig actually crystallizes a bit. Here we have a variety called Hate of the Argentile, which is not ripe yet. But the Hate of the Argentile uh, actually has more of a tropical berry flavor to it. I uh, have other fig varieties that taste like peaches. We have a variety here called uh, Sunbird Unknown. And Sunbird Unknown and Soda Sicilian, they both taste like peaches. Uh, we also have varieties that taste um, like peaches as well, like Fico uh, Pesco di Oro, as well as Yellow Niches, which I should have in a couple days, right? So there's a really wide variety of flavors within the fig, and because brown turkey to me is very bland, um, there's just better things out there. Uh, we can go even further, guys, and I can show you my later ripening varieties, like a Black Madeira, and uh, maybe an Italian 258, or my Smith, or my Azores Dark. Those are really, really interesting, tasty figs. Uh, <laughs> and if I were to eat one of these guys, this Black Madeira here, side by side to a brown turkey, uh, there would be no comparison. It really would be like a hundred dollar, hundred dollar, hundred year old bottle of wine compared to a five year old bottle of wine. You know, it would just be a huge difference in flavor. Anyway, everyone, I know I don't want to harp on this too much, but that's just a, uh, a taste into my world. So when you are seeing me review these varieties of figs, guys, you need to take that into consideration that. Um, you know, just because you've only had brown turkey doesn't mean that there is other varieties out there that are quite interesting. So I, I advise you to go out there and get a different variety of fig, preferably one in a different flavor group. You know, either it's honey or berry or a sugar fig. Um, that's what I would recommend. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like brown turkey, like I said, that's your, uh, your prerogative, and I can't change your mind. So uh, all I can say is keep growing figs, and uh, I'll see you all for the next one. All right? Take care.